Hey guys, so it's my sister's birthday today. So I'm cutting Celeste's hair. How old are you turning, Dete? I'm 20. Yay. Woo! I know. We're just giving her a trim. She's gonna make me bald. <laughs> bald! Maya! Wait, what is this? I'm just giving her a trim. You look like you went to a salon. Hey, it looks like you took a shower. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it looks good. Thanks, Gigi. You're welcome. Smile. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm cutting Alex's hair. He wants to go bald. Hey guys, sorry it's lopsided. Um, so I'm currently working at the restaurant and it's about to be time to close, but I feel kind of scared to close before the time. Even though we're slow, we have no more customers, but I feel kind of scared to close if my dad's not here because <laughs> I feel like he's testing me. Hey, how are y'all? Hola, ok, so agarré un packaging de una muchacha muy linda que me mandó cosas que se llama Daris. I, I don't even know how nos encontramos on social media and she was like really nice and sent me a DM I'm pretty sure and told me like hey I would really love to send you some makeup from Mexico and I honestly have never really tried that many brands from over there so I was like yes like I would love to and she said that these were like some really pretty shimmers so I just got the package today and I am so so excited so thank you so much Daris for sending me these things you shouldn't have y luego me mandó a little cute note oh my gosh de verdad super super sweet thank you so much girl i'm gonna cherish this forever <laughs> i'm gonna keep it with my with my notes that i keep from other people but let's see what she sent me Ooh, these are so pretty Okay, I don't know if this is a loose glitter or not. Okay, no. I think it unfortunately cracked. Pero una de estas se ve que era como a press, pressed pigment. Uh, I need to be very careful opening this up. Ay, y está bien bonito. Ay. Okay, I'm gonna press it back in carefully. Because I really like this shade. Okay, well look at this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a rosy toned gold. This one's from the brand. It has a K on it. From Kefir Valtierra. I think that's how you pronounce it. I do not know. Oh, how pretty is that? It's like iridescent. has like different tones in it. Oh, it's such a shame that they all cracked. Except for like obviously the loose pigment ones. But like she sent me two of them that cracked. It's okay. No pasa nada. I can press them in. Este se parece más como, uh, como blanco con un poquito de iridescency de otros colores. It's like a white color. Yeah, this one is more. Whoa! Look at that. It's blinding. I'm gonna swatch the other little ones. These are also from Gefer Valtierra. Like this. Ooh, I wonder if these need like a glitter glue. Oh, how pretty. Uh, it's like a blue with like pink in it. Very like sheer. It's not like chunky glitter. Oof, I'm gonna be covered in glitter. This one's like purple iridescency. There's this like hot pink one right here. I feel like it would look better with a glitter glue underneath. So that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. Then she sent me this hot pink one. That's like a bubblegum pink very very pink Oof, my hands are covered in glitter <laughs> my gosh y este es como un dorado Ooh, okay this is so pretty i definitely need to put these on my eyes because swatching them on my hand they all are not like giving them justice mm, but yeah look at that super pretty thank you 
Guys, so I'm trying to do some content for my Instagram and I did use some of the shimmers that Dairis gave me. This is in the shade Opalo. I'm guessing Opal in Spanish. It's just like the iridescent white one. And I put that like right here, like diagonal like that. And I put like Periwinkle and some other purple shades. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I use the Natasha Denona pastel palette and I use this shade right here mixed with like I was just playing so I mixed a lot of shades um, with a little bit of this tone and this tone from the Huda Beauty palette kind of just like blew it out and I was like something's missing so I put eyeliner and I also put some rhinestones right here I feel like it's giving me Pegasus magic Pegasus from the Barbie movie that one was a really good movie it kind of matches the Stanley Cup <laughs> I haven't done this in a while I love doing this it's very therapeutic for me also I'm creating content so that's plus yeah just sitting down and listening to music or YouTube videos it's very like relaxing for me <laughs> Sorry I didn't record guys, I just didn't think I was gonna like the eyes, I was just playing around and I was like, eh, we'll see what comes out with it. It's not hard, okay? Just like put most of the color towards the center of the eye and then just blow it out. Don't put anything in the outside except for like the shimmer and the wing liner. Is that the pump? Yeah, that pump is ass. <laughs> Are you drinking water? No. Why not? I guess this fighter has a seizure from drinking too much water. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> you still need to drink water though. And it says in the caption, I don't even know this could happen. Alright, what do you guys think? I like it a lot. What if I put some nude in my eye? Make it more dolly like. Trying to get good pictures, but I don't know. What, my sister's pretending to be me with a client. <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks really bad. That you're creepy. <laughs> no, <laughs> creepy. <laughs> what? Hey, welcome to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, what should I do? Take a video of me, my whore. I, I think I'm more videogenic. Not, pho like, not photogenic. <laughs> okay. okay, it's a video, right? No, it's just pictures. Hold on. There you go. I think when you have to like move your eyebrow. Well, that was know. not a good angle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is my like? my laugh echoing in the room? Yeah. Like like a good angle of probably like this. You're looking really down. Like okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're pushing it out now. You're like, Bro! <laughs> Hey you guys, this vlog has been everywhere, but today is Thursday and I had to go with my mom to Atlanta to drop off my grandma because she left to Mexico today. So we did that and then we went to Bucky's, so I took some footage there. It's our first time in uh, Bucky's. It's actually our second time. Well, this is, well our first, first time, time was in Texas, Alabama. but it's our first time in Alabama and what the heck is going on? Oh, gosh. No. oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they're the Bucky's. <laughs> that was like our first time going to the one in, in Alabama. When I was younger, we would drive to Mexico and we would always stop at Bucky's, but it was always like just in Texas. So when we saw that they were opening up two Bucky's in Alabama, I got excited because like I remember it being nice and big and it was such a great experience. I feel like Bucky's is really like the Chick fil A of gas stations. Like they're super nice, the service is like immaculate for a gas station and of course it's brand new so it's really clean there's a lot of stuff a lot of merch um and everyone there is really super nice so that was a great experience but we got home and we like knocked the heck out we were super tired we woke up around like three in the morning 
So now I'm awake from my nap. I'm going to my studio because I realized that I need to do some inventory checking. Like I need to check everything before I leave to Mexico. I'll talk to you once I get there because I can't drive and vlog. Okay, <laughs> now I can talk to you guys. So like I was saying, excuse the air conditioning by the way. I know it's kind of loud and obnoxious, but it's just really hot today. I need to look at everything that I have in my studio because I leave to Mexico in three weeks. I didn't even realize that's like a very short amount of time considering that I have to order stuff online because I want to get my discounts. I don't need to go buy in store because at the end I pay more because Sephora doesn't give you a pro discount or anything. So um, I need to look through my kit and see what I need to restock on. Uh, usually every summer I leave disposables in my studio in Mexico. So if you guys have no idea, like this is your first time coming across my channel, I go to Mexico every summer and I do makeup over there. It's basically like a full month of makeup because everyone does their parties over there. They're, they're kind of like me. Their parents are from this one town in Jalisco, Mexico. That's where my parents are from. Well, like long story short, my mom was born in Mexico City, but her parents are from the same town as my dad. So like basically my ancestors are from this one little town in Jalisco. I go every summer and I have a lot of friends that all go to Mexico during the summer. They do their parties, they do their weddings, um, quinceañeras, baptisms, you name it. We do a party and they kind of just go all out and they get their makeup done, their hair done. Basically, yo me traigo mi makeup kit and that's how I get business over there. It's not just like I bring my kit and just wait for people. Like I already have people schedule me a year out. So I'm really, really blessed because aparte de que yo puedo ver a mi familia en México, pues voy también a trabajar y aprovecho ese mes y I do a lot of content because these looks are very extravagant and I get to practice on like different eye shapes and just I love it I love doing makeup over there I, I feel like so I don't know how to say it like because here in the states it's just different like I have to work at the restaurant and do makeup so I get kind of stressed out you know because it's just like um, I don't solely just do makeup and so when I go to Mexico I just get to focus on my job that is makeup don't get me wrong like sometimes I am super freaking tired because it's like back to back sometimes for like two weeks straight that's what happened to me my first time ever working like when i had my license and stuff i remember going to mexico and it was the summer after covid i remember that summer i had parties every single day and it was like up to 10 girls at a time and it was crazy i would have to start like at five in the morning like i just would be like please if you're gonna schedule this early in the morning like you have to show up so thankfully that summer went really well for me and then I just kept going and going and I'm just blabbering at this point but now I need to like really focus and see what I need to pack guys that's like the most stressful part I don't even care about my clothes anymore because I was thinking like oh like I need to buy dresses and I need to buy cute summer outfits but eso no, no es importante ahorita lo que me estresa es el maquillaje porque again I have to order everything and um, I'm gonna write down what I need to order off of Amazon different websites of makeup websites Gemas. If you want to see how I packed last summer, like how I packed everything, I literally locked everything from my makeup to my outfits to like how I put everything to go to Mexico. I'm gonna leave it right over here so you guys can watch. But yeah, y'all, like, oh my gosh, I'm a little stressed out. And then on top of that, I don't even know if I want to take full bottles of foundation or if I should just take the mini containers that I have. Hopefully that will last me the whole month but i don't know i don't know <laughs> uh, yeah because last year i really didn't have anything depotted and now everything is depotted working at the restaurant right now. <laughs> Our parents left us in charge. Managers! It's um, Sunday, so we closed a little bit early tonight. We would close at 9.30. Hey, 
And I didn't wear any mascara today and I look bald. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got home from work. I hope that y'all don't mind that this vlog is just like everywhere and basically my life when I'm not busy and I'm not busy doing makeup. Like this weekend I didn't have anything. So I really just wanted to show you what I'm doing and have something uploaded for you guys. Cause when I watch my favorite YouTubers, like I don't care what they do. Like they could go nowhere and I still watch them. So right now I'm applying my rosemary oil. I've been using this for like a couple months now and it helps with your hair growth and all that. It smells good and I know it's good for my scalp. So that's why I keep doing it. Um, I do it every time I wash my hair, which is like every four days. I kind of let it sit as long as I can. So that's what I, why um, as soon as I get home from work, I oil my scalp. So while I'm here doing this with this horrible lighting, sorry. I want to give you an update on like my whole, um, how I go about buying stuff before going to Mexico. I just bought bronzers from Charlotte Tilbury um, yesterday online. And then I also purchased some eyelashes and sponges from Amazon. So I do that because it's just like more cost effective. I also need to look on Ardell's website because I do. I do have like a pro discount with them. Oh, this feels so good. I just haven't made time to look on there. And then what else? I also bought some like comfy outfits to wear when I do makeup in Mexico because when I get up over there, I don't want to wear like jeans and a top. Like I just want to wear something super easy to just hop into literally so i bought like these jumpsuits that are just like i saw them off of julia havens and she wore it with like a cute button down so i bought more colors because i already have like three button downs that i always rotate but i wanted another couple so bought some more shades and then when that comes in i'll definitely show you guys but yeah i think i'm pretty much set i just need to maybe buy a couple foundations before i leave but it's because i want to incorporate a different formula into my kit like the house labs one but i don't know if my sephora in kohl's has it like i haven't even been because they just recently opened a sephora in kohl's in my town it used to be in jc penny in my town but then they closed Vuelo a rosemary y a fajitas. Ok, y lo que hago es me lo pongo en a bun y ya me meto a bañar en like 15-20 minutos. 